the winner's semis. It's going to be Zamba versus Apollo Kage. And they're rocking the Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'm hyped. I'm hyped, too. Love this game. Yeah, no Fire Emblem characters are before us. That's OK. That's OK. This, this song is a banger. That's all that matters. Lots of Battlefield today. Everyone wants the juice box. To yeah, Battlefield we go for game number one. They're already throwing out a ton of projectiles right. here. Playing this like mid-screen war of attrition. Yeah, this seems very on brand with this matchup. I feel like Wi-Fi popularized this matchup. It already was like a pretty often seen matchup, but then it became a lot more prevalent in the Wi-Fi era. I think Rob just became more prevalent in the offline era post-Wi-Fi. Yeah. And then you know, they were like, you know what? I'm going to keep playing this character. They didn't want to let their experience points go to waste. But the back air, equalizing, not equalizing, completely running away with that first stock. Zomba looking good here in this game one. At the same time, Apollo Kage really, would, he, he had burned all of his resources, and he needed to go for that high C4 recovery. But yeah. Zomba scouted it out brilliantly. Yeah, the C4 is always that last resort, and he was just ready for it. Oh, and such patience at the ledge on the recovery from Zomba. Yeah. Really, he had very few options, but he just played it patiently, didn't yeah. waste any movement, and snuck by what uh, Apollo Kage had presented to him. And that was a great tech coming out from Zomba to extend that stock, but Apollo Kage said, no, nah, we got to... We gotta equalize this. Yeah, that's a double parry coming away from that neutral interaction. <laughs> Means we're back to this mid-range game plan. I, I think Zamba is just confident to wait out the grenades, right? Yeah. It's, it seems like he's just is gonna allow his lasers to betray the grenades that Apollo Kage wants to present. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Tries to catch the trajectory of that with the back air. That was sneaky, sneaky from Mr. Zamba. But Apollo Kage needed to do that early C4. We, we, you said it's a last resort, but he did it early just to try and mix up. Right. And the fact that you have to mix up that hard so early in game one might not be good for the set play. Yeah. But Zamba is already getting an early stock here again. Yeah, gonna find the bread and butter down here to up smash. Rob is so well known for. Apollo Kage's got some trailing to do. These characters both feel terrible to have a deficit against. Mm -hmm. They both feel awful to let run away with a lead just because they could pack up the cheekiest damage so easily. Oh, but the game, oh, see the oh item game gosh. from AK? He, he's letting the top just work for him Dude. here. Not gonna be quite enough he to get the stop though. He took the Nikita off stage and fell. I haven't seen that. You could write a PJ Stats article about that back hair. Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it. I think that's three back. No, no. One was an up smash. Yeah, Two yeah. back airs and an up smash. Gets the job done for Zamba. He's been harvesting souls with that back air today. But shout outs to, to Jackie Peanuts and the, the PG Stats crew. I don't, I don't yeah. mean to throw them under yeah. the bus. <laughs> I just realized how mean that sounded. No, they do good work, <laughs> and we only talk about it because. Because we appreciate work. it. Yes. Exactly. Now we get some Persona music. We were just talking about Persona. And yeah, that that's why this is my favorite music of the Persona choices, because this was in P4A. And right. that's really the only Persona game I've played is P4A. And what says Frosty Fossings more than a little bit of FGC music sprinkled in there? We, yeah, we had we had Tekken be pretty well represented in the Losers A Smash. Yup, yup. So let's get to it on Final Destination. We have the F tilt to dash attack, a little bread and butter action. Gonna get the multi hit and keep him off stage. Wow, he really just tried to keep him off too with that up smash. Didn't quite connect though. I think he expected that dash attack to cross up, which was the plan. And then Zamba, again, he's. I feel like he's just really good at not moving when people expect him to move. Right. Like his confidence in standing still is a big deal, especially against Snake. I'd agree with that. Kind of just lobs that grenade in there. Gonna, uh, gonna get the little string that was created off of it, but the back air coming in, not floating like a butterfly. Yeah, that, that was, a, a, again, the, the best adjective is confident, right? Yeah. He's like, I, I know you're gonna expect me to like roll and then go for the up tilt, but instead here's a back air to your face. And ooh. Yeah, he knows his openings and he eats off them. Fortunate SD from AK, and that's gonna cost him big time. And the 
you, you see what he, he's thinking about. He's thinking about ways to get back into this game ASAP. Right. All right, the little kicks. Uh, that's one way. That's the start. That's one way. You're, you're going to need more than that, though. You're these nest players. You don't want either of these demons in your loser bracket. But unfortunately, there's going to be one. I think you'd rather have the snake, though, if you're a nest player. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, they're both just too strong for that to matter in the up smash. Gonna put Zamba 2-0 over Apollo Kage here in this winter set. Yeah, a little bit aided by the SD. However, still just confident looks from Zamba. Right, the, right. the number one overall to use the tournament for a reason. Zamba had the assist, but earned that set no less. Earned that game no less. Mm -hmm. So back to small battlefield, it'll be another music counter pick, it looks like, from AK. Where is he going? He's going to... All right. A AK's got good taste. I was just talking about this in my last commentary vlog. Uh, jump, jump, jump Up Superstar is the best music choice on the Mario uh, the Mario playlist, so. I would agree. Good stuff it's, to it's AK. such a fun song. That song puts me in a good mood like no other. It takes me back to like when the Switch came out in like 2017, 2018. And just every game was good. It's like yeah. you're playing Breath of the Wild into Splatoon 2 into Mario Odyssey, and you're like, man, I'm just happy that this system exists. We were kids in a candy store. <laughs> kids pushing oh, 30 in a candy store. Wasn't, it wasn't just on Switch, but Hollow Knight just come out. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, was a, that was a good year. Yeah. Can't beat it. Nothing off that C4, that's okay. They're playing the little zoning game, trying to find their ways in. This confident confirms out of the down tilt for Zamba has afforded him the stage presence. Wow, and he doesn't get his laser, but that's not what he was going for. He was so clearly going for the grenade. Got a hit off of it. Another back air, just so confident oh in the God. positioning. Grab coins with him. <laughs> Wait it out, but who else is waiting it out? It's Zamba. He knows oh, that the grenade's going to do that. He almost hesitated. He waited for him to go under the ledge as opposed to just trying to intercept him from over the ledge. And that's just a testament to how much better Rob's grounded options are than his aerial options. Yeah, Rob's grounded options are fantastic. And his aerial options are also really good. Yeah. <laughs> but, but they're one is somehow better. However, AK finally gets first blood here. Although it's not going to last for too long. Yeah. He said, I want in on this blood myself. And now we have a two-star game. Grabs the grenade. Is it going to blow up in his hands? No. The timer works just in his favor. And using this platform to full advantage is Snake. However, the, the top afforded Zomba an opportunity to advance. And look at him go. He's going to even burn a little bit of his gas get up into the air. Yeah, we love the Rob suplex. Gonna send him off stage. Always going for that back throw to kind of maintain positioning. Just trying to be reverse his way in with as much corner space as he can, but Apollo Kage, how much room do you still have left? Because Zamba is not giving you any of this stage for oh free. Oh my gosh, and he almost converted that into an up air, but still on the platform, had another chance and converted that one into an up air. Brilliant stuff. He, Zamba is just so confident with his stage control. There, it, it's so hard for AK to even win like a scrap of stage. You're I gonna mean, take 60, 70 percent, 80 percent plus. It's I still climbing. I don't think this set would look as dominant as it is. But if you're Apollo Kage, you're still giving this all, all right. you got. The C4 is gonna take yeah. us to this last stock. You get, you get the stick. That's a dub. Right on. Oh my gosh, Zamba though, flies to center stage, trying to risk it all, send him to the heavens. It wasn't even that much of a risk, he's up 2-0. Right. You might as well go for it. And yeah, Snake can't do much off the top, so why not? Okay. Oh my that's, gosh, that's damage though. That's good damage, it actually, it's not enough damage right. yet. We still have some work to do. It's still the kind of damage that makes you sweat, but yeah, there is some trailing that needs to be done. So that's the thing, like, Rob is a comeback character because he can kill you at 49%. Snake can rack up that damage so fast, but he's not really going to kill you at 49. He still needs to get that work done. Right. And there is a, I think there is a sticking grenade on Rob. It actually might have fallen off. Oh, and he just dash attacks and doesn't let him do anything that was, about it. That was dominant. That was a forward tilt. 
But that was a forward. Oh, yeah. he, he ran he up like, forward tilted? Just ran up forward tilted. I was going to say, it there looked, wasn't enough arch in there to be a... It looked like a dash attack. And then uh, Snake, he, act, he said there. So he pulled the trigger on the C4 that was on Zomba. But then the forward tilt happened first? Really weird game. Yeah, I don't know. However, I what his plan was for that sticky in like the longer macro game. He, the thing is, you can't really like super plan around because like the sticky just kind of falls off sometimes, yeah. and then you're like, I'm I'm sad it fell off. Yeah. You, you have to do something in like the first five seconds of the sticky. So maybe it rattles your maybe Apocalypse was thinking a little too hard on that, and that's why he went for the the. Did it for C4. sure fall off though? I feel like it was. It's hard to. That's yeah, <laughs> right. You, you need to watch the replay to tell sometimes. That, yeah. that, that's why Smash is a game of just e reacting to the frame depth. Like, that, yeah. it, like if, if you react fast enough, you are going to benefit greatly. And Zomba's reaction time and his presence of mind in that set was just so confident that led to his winner's finals appearance here at Frosty Fossey.